Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. It's still Wednesday, right? Let me see. Yes, yeah, still Wednesday. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing this evening? Um, it's been a while, right? It's been a while since I've been on here on a Wednesday night. Now, of course, y'all see me on Mondays and Fridays in the mornings. Um, but if you woke up, you're winning. But it's been a minute for Wednesday. So how have you guys been doing? All right. Um, I was on here like probably every Wednesday and then I decided to, um, take a different approach with that. You know, I figured I wanted to give you guys more topics that you wanted. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do something different. You know, if you guys have something y'all want me to talk about on Wednesday, just let me know. And then I do the video, but I think I didn't really do a good job of like promoting that. Like some of y'all probably were just like, what happened to the Wednesday videos? Because I didn't realize like everybody wasn't necessarily on here when I threw that out there. So my bad. But anyways, I'm here tonight. So how's everybody doing? Hope y'all had an awesome and amazing Wednesday. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. I don't think I said that part yet, so let's get that out the way. Um, yeah, so this tonight, you read the topic. It's probably why you clicked on the video, or maybe you accidentally clicked on it. I don't know. But anyway, hey, Precious. Hey, Sheena. Hey, Ralph. Thank you guys for joining. Um, so the topic tonight is why... Did I start an online business? You know, a lot of you guys know that I do different things in the online space, you know, um, have done some network marketing things and still do that as well. But but why did I come online? You know, and, and why am I even talking about this tonight? Right now, the other day, if you watch me in the mornings, I was talking about sharing your story. Right. And how important it is to share your story. Right. Hey, Leonardo, what's up with you? Thank you for joining the video. As you guys come on, make sure you drop a comment, say hello, share the video, you know, something like that. All right, guys, um, especially if you're watching the replay, say hello so I can come back and say what's up and shout you out. All right, guys. So anyway, again, the other morning I was talking about sharing your story and how important it is. Right. Because when you actually share your story, it can help somebody. Right. So that's why I'm talking about this topic tonight. OK, that's why I'm talking about this topic tonight, because if I don't share my story, if I don't maybe tell you my reasoning for starting an online business, how do you know if that's something that you want to do? Right. So that's why we're, we're talking about this this evening. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hey, bless. What's up? Did you get your shirt, man? I forgot to, to track it and see if you got it. But um, uh, message me, message me. All right, guys. So. Why did I start an online business? So there's a lot of reasons people get in the online business space, right? Sometimes people, you know, maybe you're a, a mom and you want to be home with your kids, right? Save some money on daycare and spend some time with the little ones, right? So you can kill two birds with one stone right there, right? You get to spend time with them so you're not missing things, you know, not missing the first steps and things of that nature. And you're saving money on daycare because how many of y'all know daycare is expensive, right? That's why some people get in the online space. So Some people you know, start an online business because they don't like dressing up. They're like, yo, I want to work in my pajamas or my computer, right? So that might be a reason why somebody might start an online business, right? Some people might start an online business because they don't feel like driving to work. You know, maybe you live in an area where there's a lot of traffic and you're like, I'm not doing this. I'm going to work from the house, right? So, so there's all kinds of reasons why people may start an online business. But, but the question tonight is, is why did I start, you know, online why did i decide that i wanted to come online and, and learn how to make money right so um the reason that i wanted to to do that there's a lot of different reasons you know for one <clears throat> excuse me for one and it's not just because i want to stay at home because i really don't like being in the house but the good thing about working online you can just work from your computer you don't have to be at home right you don't have to be at home you can be at the beach you could be out of town you could be at panera bread right anywhere right Panera, y'all owe me some money because I just threw y'all out there, okay? Somebody owe me something free for, um, yeah, for that. But anyway, for that, shout out. But no, seriously, guys, you can be anywhere. So that's one thing, the flexibility, right? That's another. That's one reason why I wanted to get into the online space and I want to learn some skills to earn money from home, right? A another reason I wanted to earn money from home is because I wanted to be able to make my own schedule. Like right now, I still have a job, right? I'm still building my online business. So I still have a job that I go to. And at my job, I can't just come and go when I please, right? I have a set schedule. I have certain amount of time I can have for lunch and breaks and things like that. And for me, I, I don't really like that because I have a lot of things going on. I have a lot of things that I want to do. So I need more flexibility, right? So one reason I wanted to come online is because I wanted to have a flexible schedule, right? And most of y'all know I help my mom take care of my nephew. So sometimes he might have things going on and I need to go pick him up or whatever. So, you know, the flexibility would help me 
in that aspect as well. Another reason I wanted to come online is because did you guys know that people can make an unlimited income when they're working online? I know so many people that have earned six, seven figures online um, by working like a few hours a day or a few days a week, right? And they're earning unlimited income at your job. There's a certain cap. You get paid like a certain amount per hour or a certain amount per week or things of that nature, right? But there's a limit. You can only earn but so much at your job, but people come online and they can earn unlimited income. So those are some of the reasons why I chose to start an online business, right? But why though? It is deeper than that, right? It's deeper than that. Because, see, you have to know your why because if you don't know your why, then the how doesn't matter and the what doesn't matter. But if you know your why, the how and the what, you know, that can actually change. As long as you stick to your why, why are you doing this, you might figure out different ways to do it, right? You might different, figure out different ways to do it, but you got to know your why. So, so why? Because those things I just listed, that basically boils down to financial freedom and time freedom, okay? That's what it boils down to. But why though? Why is financial freedom important to me? Why is time freedom important to me, right? Because that's what you really have to get to, right? You can say, oh, I want to have more money or I want to have more time, but why? What do you want to do with that money? What do you want to do with that time? And that's what you have to figure out. And so that's what I'm here to share with you tonight, my why. So my why, is why do I want more time because I want to be able to do the things that I want to do when I want to do them, right? I have things that I'm passionate about. You guys see behind me my uh, my brand and my logo, Ball, Build a Lasting Legacy. That's all about teaching people the importance of leaving a legacy, teaching people about entrepreneurship, educating people. These are things I'm super passionate about and I want to make a difference in the world. But if I'm at my job all day, I can't do that. So that's why the time freedom is important. So I can have more time for the things that I'm really passionate about and the things that are really important to me. Another reason time freedom is important is because I know how short life is, okay? Those of you guys that know me, you know that my dad suddenly passed away in the carpool line picking my nephew up from school, right? And so I know how precious life is. I know how short it is. So I want to have time to spend with those people that are important to me. I want to have time to spend with my mom. I want to have time to spend with my nephew. You know what I'm saying? So that's why time freedom is important. I don't want to be at a job eight to 11 hours a day, right? Sometimes I work eight hours. Sometimes I work, you know, nine, 10, 11, but I don't want to be doing that. I want to have time to go on vacation with my family and, and just enjoy life. That's what we're here for. So that's why time freedom is important to me. Financial freedom is important to me so that I can use that money, not so I can go drive a fancy car, right? I like my Nissan. I don't know about y'all, but I like the Nissan. I don't need a Bentley. I don't need a Maserati. The, the Altima, Gets me where I need to go and it's dope, all right? I really like my car. But that's not, it's not about material things like that. My main reason is because I can use that money to, as a resource to do the things I want to do. Like I said, I have big goals with my brand and um, things I want to do, but you need money to do those things, right? So I started an online business so that I can have the finances to do those things, right? Also, my mom. My mom has done so much for me, for my brother, for my nephew. And I want to be able to give back to her. I want to be able to send her on a vacation or whatever. I want her to be able to retire from her job because she's done so much. I want to give back. I want to show my appreciation. And so the financial freedom from having an online business will allow me to do those things for her. She'll be 60 in three years. I want to have a really big 60th birthday party for her. That's important to me, right? So that's why financial freedom is important. That's why time freedom is important because of those things that I want to do. And so that's why I decided to start an online business because online you can leverage systems you can leverage things like email campaigns you know you can leverage things like facebook lives people can watch your facebook live or they might see something on your youtube and they might go buy something from you right they might join you in a business opportunity or if you have a product that you sell like the other day i was um i was just at the mall and i got a message somebody had went on my website and bought one of my t-shirts while I was doing something else, right? So when you have a business online, you can leverage your time. You're making money while you're doing other things like living life and enjoying your family. So that's why I decided to start an online business, right? And that's why I'm building this business and that's why I'm growing this business. And again, 
Um, you know, I want to do some things for my nephew. I want him to have some opportunities that I didn't have, right? He's 17, about to be 18, about to graduate. We want to send him on a trip for graduation. You know, I want to be able to pay for that, right? If he makes it that long. If I don't kill him before he graduates, because y'all know that boy is getting on my nerves. But in the grand scheme of things, I want to do some really good things for my family. I, that's the, those are the things that are important to me, right? Hey, Kenny, what's up? Hey, Lynn, thank y'all for jumping on. What's up, Shannon? Um, but yeah, guys, so that's it. That's basically what I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm being, you know, very transparent with you guys. Um, starting an online business, yeah, it takes work, but the rewards are so great. You know, when you actually dig in and when you're consistently working on something, the rewards, like I said, being able to leverage your time, being able to leverage, you know, your finances, being able to do the things you want to do in life, that's priceless, right? That's priceless. You can't put a price on that. So you just have to stay focused. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have a lot of things going on and you know, I hadn't been as focused as I should, right? This is me being transparent because if I don't share my story, I can't help anybody, right? I can't help anybody. So what I'm saying is, thanks, Kenny. I appreciate that. Sometimes you just, you, you know, life happens, things get in the way, but remember when you're in the online space, when you're your own boss, when you're making your own schedule, you have to stay focused, right? You have to stay focused. Life gets in the way and you still go to work. So why, as soon as something starts to happen, we fall off of our online business, right? We fall off, jump off, sit down, whatever you want to call it. We come to a stop sometimes, okay? I understand life is going to happen, but if you really stay focused and if you really dig in and if you're really consistent, these things work. You know, I just recently, I had to thank a friend of mine and he knows who he is. So I'm not even going to say his name on here. He was on here earlier for reaching out to me and saying, hey, how are things going, right? Hey, Tamara, what's up? We got to get together. And he reached out to me and said, how are things going? And we talked a little bit. And because of him, now I'm getting back on track. Because see, guys, it's okay for you to fall down as long as you get back up. It's okay to get off track as long as you get back on. It's okay to slow down as long as you don't stop, right? So it's okay. So this is me being honest with you guys. Yeah, I slowed down a little bit. I was promoting my brand more, but... You know, now I'm working on some things. I have some projects going on and I am going to be getting back to more of the Facebook lives. I am going to be getting back to the YouTube channel because I can't help anybody if I'm not sharing my story or if I'm not teaching things that I'm learning. And you guys know I'm a teacher. I love sharing things with you because I want to help other people to achieve financial freedom. I want other people to achieve time freedom. I want other people to make their dreams come true and pursue their passions. That's what I'm passionate about. I want to help you. I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you. I want to give you the tools that you need, right? So I'm getting back into it, guys. So make sure that you are tuned in. Make sure you turn on the notifications so you can see when I do live videos. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to my blog. Guys, we're going to win together in 2018. This year, I mean, I know it's April, it's almost May, which is my favorite month because it's my birthday month. Just throwing that out there in case y'all want to, you know, give me a gift or something. Okay. Anyway, but it's almost May, but we still have uh, the majority of the, of the year left. So don't feel bad if you fell off from your goals. Don't feel bad if you kind of got off track because right now today we're all, we're going to get back on track together, right? We're going to make 2018 our best year. So I want you to think back to your goals and I want you to think back to your why. Why did you want to start? Maybe you started an online business. Maybe you started writing a book. Maybe you launched a, a clothing line. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you did, but I want you to think back to why. And I want you to make, let that keep you going because see, if you don't know the why, you're not going to be able to keep going. They always say, if you think, when you feel like you're going to quit, think back to why you started in the first place. But if your why isn't strong enough, it's not going to help you to get back on track, right? It's not going to keep you going. So when you say, well, I want a business, because I want more money. Well, why? What do you want to do with that money? I want a business because I want more time. Why? Why do you want to do it that time? And you got to dig all the way down till you have that reason. And you might even want to post it somewhere. You might want to post your why. So you have a reminder to keep going. All right. So you guys hang with me. You guys stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe to everything so we can do this thing together in 2018. Thank you guys for hanging out and listening to my why. Um, everybody that jumped on the video, I appreciate y'all. Hey, Brian, what's up? Um, and I was just joking about y'all getting me a birthday gift. I'm actually been tell I've actually been telling people that if y'all want to get me something, just buy a t-shirt, man. Just buy a t-shirt, take a picture, help me promote the brand, and help me get the message out there, right? That's all, that's all, right? So anyway, guys, my name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome and amazing evening, and I'll see y'all on the next 
video. All right. See y'all Friday morning for sure. 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another episode of If You Woke Up Your Women. All right. Y'all have an awesome and amazing evening. Goodbye. How do I stop this? Every time I'm on the iPad, this happens, right? Okay. It's over here in the corner. All right. Bye, y'all.